What is up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. So, you guys, I don't know if you've noticed how, like, the readings have kind of shifted to where some of you guys, you could be possibly dealing with someone new now, or you're going to be dealing with someone new in the future, okay? I feel like 2024 is about to be a big game changer for a lot of us, okay? Either some of us that's dealing with someone now, like, that relationship could progress, and some of you could be meeting someone new, okay? Now, meanwhile, you have this past person that just can't leave you alone. And this person, I feel like, is going to start shifting into this runner energy. I feel like that's the energy I'm picking up on in these readings, especially the ones I've done in the past couple of weeks about, you know, this person getting ready to chase you. So yesterday, you guys, I channeled quite a few songs, okay? Well, I channeled one song, but quite a few messages. And the group, or the name of the group of the song that I channel is called Jagged Edge. And the name of the song is called He Can't Love You, okay? So I'm going to get this message out to you guys. I'll get this song out, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? All right, here we go. I had to pull the camera down. Y'all know how I get nervous, okay? All right, here we go. As the clock strikes 12, I'm sitting here wondering how the hell did I let you leave? And baby, I know that I did my share of things to deceive you. I'm just trying to get an understanding of what to do. Girl, I'm going crazy. He can't love you like I love you. Baby, yeah, you know it too. You should never want to be with a man if he can't be the man. Do the things to you like I do. He can't love you like I love you. Baby, yeah, you know it too. You should never want to be with a man if he can't be the man and do the things to you like I do. Ooh, all right, y'all, I got that out. I don't know why the hell I be so damn nervous, y'all. My heart over here beating fast as hell and shit. Okay, so what I was picking up off that song, you guys, is someone here is thinking, y'all know when the story Cinderella, you know what I'm saying, the clock struck 12, and then she went back to, you know, being her original self. So I feel like someone here kind of lives in this fairy tale world, right? And they're sitting here wondering, like, they think about you all the time, but it's like they're in this dream state, and they're just wondering, like, how the hell did I let Scorpio go? Why the hell did I let Scorpio go? Okay. But they know that they did their things of they did share of things to deceive you. So this person acknowledges the fact that they did deceive you, they lied to you, they treat you, they did something. But they're just trying to get an understanding. So I feel like someone here spends a lot of time in their head. But what they're doing is trying to get an understanding because this person don't know like what you want from them, what you need from them. And it's really making this person go halfway crazy because I feel like they want to be that person. They're trying to figure out what you want, what you need, because they want to be that person to provide and to give to you exactly what you want and what you need, okay? And remember I was talking about, you know, how a lot of us are going to be meeting someone new or you've moved on to someone new, okay? And they're going to be comparing themselves to this person, you know, looking to this relationship, following y'all, stalking y'all on social media, looking at your pictures and shit. You know, because it's like they're comparing themselves to this person. They're saying, man, this person can't love Scorpio like I can. And I feel like for some of you, because you're going to have a conversation with this person, they're going to tell you, man, y'all, Scorpio, you know this person can't love you. You know this man, this woman can't love you like I can. You know what I'm saying? They they don't do the things for you like I do. I know I remember doing a reading. Um, It was either last week. Or it may have been this week where it was like, you know, it's conversation that you want to have with someone. Like once they reveal something, once they say something to you, it's going to have you confused. You know, especially if you're dealing with someone new. Because I feel like, I don't know about y'all, but it's like, hey, I want somebody who's going to fight for my love. You know what I'm saying? 
who wants to prove themselves to me. And I feel like this is someone who's willing to prove themselves. They're really willing to fight for this connection now. And it's going to make you, you know, kind of feel some type of way because this is what you want this person to do from jump. And it's like now that they're doing it, I feel like it's going to leave you in a state of confusion here. So let's pull just a little bit. Let's see who this person is that feels like whoever you're dealing with now, Scorpio, can't love you the way that they did. They can't fuck you the way that they did. You know what I'm saying? They can't give to you. You don't have that same chemistry. Like, it's not the same. And they saying shit, Scorpio, you know that shit too. Why you bullshit, Scorpio? You know this man or this other woman that you're dealing with, they don't love you the way that this past person did. So let's see who this is. Who is this person, Holy Spirit? All right, we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person that was very greedy who I feel like went towards somebody or went towards situations that they feel like they were going to benefit more financially, very materialistic, stubborn, did not want to change, not wanting to do what spirit was leading them to do. And they were also obsessed with wealth and status. And I feel like, especially for my Scorpios that's on this twin flame journey, that's why you're going to have the wealth and, and status. You know what I'm saying? You never were the type of person who was obsessed with, with wealth and status and how people looked at you and this and that. And it's because of you. This is someone who kind of puts themselves on a pedestal. You know, somebody who kind of looks down on other people and feel like they're better than other people. For some of you, this can be a, a, someone who's older than you. I don't want to say a father figure. It could be. But I feel like this is someone who could be older than you. And they were corrupt. Like, their mind was really corrupt. This could have been someone who, you know, was on that get rich quick type scheme. You know, they were always scheming and planning about how they were going to get over on people. So this King of Pentacles in reverse, who right now, baby, ain't in, who ain't got that money and that success. You know, all the things that they wanted. And were obsessed with, like, they ain't got that shit no more. With wealth and success, they ain't got that. They were too greedy to be able for, for spirit to be able to bless this person. See, you weren't greedy, Scorpio. You always wanted the best for everyone else. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that feels like they can love Scorpio better? This page of wands. For some of you, this could have been someone who was younger than you. Or they look at you as an inspiration, okay? You always come up with fresh ideas you're very limitless with the things that you do how you're creative they see a lot of potential in you they see you're a free spirit you know you just you don't really give a fuck about how people view you or, or what they gotta say she let them talk like you want the people like she let let them motherfucker talk what they gonna do ain't nobody gonna run up on me what should we say ain't nobody who gonna check me boo you know what i'm saying like ain't nobody gonna check you it's like you're exploring new territories in life you're doing things that other people haven't done before, haven't even dreamed of doing. I feel like this person sees you as very exciting and very free. Like, you're just free to do what you want. You're like this free spirit that kind of, you know, you could be a drifter. Maybe you'll be here for a little while. You'll be here for, like, you just love exploring and seeing the world. This is how this person views you. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got King of Pentacles, which is uh, Capricorn and Leo. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that feels like they can love Scorpio better than this new person they can be dealing with? All right, so we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. This is someone who they had self-limiting beliefs. So what this, this means, Scorpio, was that the things that they believed in, it really was limiting. You know, it limited them in a way. This is someone who has a lot of anger, feels very guilty, thinks very negatively, I feel like, about themselves, about other people. But they're willing to have this new, or this is someone who, this is how they could have been in the past, but I feel like now this is someone who is looking at things with a, with a new perspective, with a fresh pair of lenses, because they've had to accept some, sit up, accept some things about themselves because they want to be free too like they're looking at you and how they're looking at you and how you're this free spirit and you just living life and enjoying yourself they want to be like that too so it's like you're actually inspiring this person you know to be a better person now this is someone who knows there's competition okay so i'm definitely picking up that energy i can't make this up you guys you're dealing with someone else you moved on they don't give a fuck about no competition okay this is someone who i feel like is going to do whatever they can because they want to fight for your love 
seven of wands energy. So in the future, Scorpio 2024, or on now, get ready for someone from your past to come back who's ready to fight for your love, Scorpio, because they feel like can't nobody love you the way that they love you. Now, they didn't probably give you their love in the past. I know they did because we wouldn't be right here, right here, right now talking about this shit, right? They couldn't give you their love. They couldn't give you the things that you needed in the past, but I feel like seeing someone else Give it to your baby's gonna light a fire up on this person's ass and make them be like, okay, well, Scorpio wasn't playing because I feel like, you know, this person feel like you was just playing with them. Like, you really wasn't gonna move on. You wasn't gonna find nobody else. And if you moved on, they feel like you wasn't gonna find nobody else who was, who was gonna compare to them. And there may be some differences between your new person and this old person, but shit, we ain't going back to the past because we knew that person can give you what you wanted. Now, this is someone who has a new perspective on life. A new perspective on you and a new perspective on this connection. So, hey, maybe they're willing to do some things differently than what they did in the past. But make that person prove themselves to you, okay? This is someone who you're willing to, you know, take back, Scorpio. Make them prove themselves. And if not, shit, be happy with the new person you got, okay? So, let's see, Scorpio, who this reading is about. Ooh, excuse me. So, we had Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, <clears throat> Leo, Aries, Sag, and we also had Leo. So we're going to pull from my who did, and we're going to see exactly who this reading is about. And then we're going to, damn. And then we're going to um, roll the dice and get the signs, okay? I hope something here has resonated for you, Scorpio. And if it did, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And also comment, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about for my Scorpios? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? All right, this could be someone that's dark complexion. This could be you or your person, Scorpio, okay? We got dark complexion. Let me take an audio. Messages for my Scorpios. Who is this reading about? Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right, they can have one or two earrings. This is a male. Who is this about, Holy Spirit? We got thick eyebrows. Who is this about? My shufflers don't want to work today, y'all. <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios. Who is this reading about? Okay. All right, this could be about someone who wears gym shorts. We got where's the little lashes, and we have gray eyes. All right, let's get a couple of more, and we'll get into the signs. We got dark or brunette here. Let's get a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this reading about for Scorpio? All right, we got young female, young male. Remember I said that earlier? Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. So we got young female, young male. Someone who's slim, wears a ponytail. So this could be a male or a woman who has long hair. You know I always keep their hair in a ponytail. Someone who has curly hair. This could be a black male who has waves. And someone who has piercings. This could be on the nose, somewhere on their face, or ears. All right, so let's roll the dice, Scorpio, and see who this is about. All right, we got Capricorn, Heavy, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio, Heavy, Aquarius, Aries. And we also have Scorpio, Heavy, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.